Welcome back to attempt number two of doing the Polytopia boat update. We're just gonna go ahead and disable Polaris, no thank you, and disable the bug guys as well, honestly. They don't have any boats. Disable all the tribes that don't have boats. There we go. And we'll let fate decide. That sounds kind of fun. Make the map a little bit smaller than last time. Archipelago. I'll just go Water World. I want it to be boats. Like, I want it to be boats, so I'm gonna go Water World. Oh, dude, let's go! <laughs> I would have picked Kiku anyway, because Kiku is the best for the water. It gave me it. Didn't even have to choose. I didn't even have to choose to get the Kiku. It just gave it to me. Thank you, Polytopia. That was so nice of you. Gotta buy that sailing technology. Not a whole lot we can do until sailing is unlocked. What's a port cost these days? Seven stars? Yeah, wait, one return. Alright, now. Go forth and sail the seven seas. Lots of starfish, interesting. You have to be on top of the starfish now to get them, right? Yeah, must be done by a unit, okay. So in a water world type scenario, what you want to do is build a raft and go get every star you can. That's a bit of a new gameplay tactic, because before it was just, you would just get the whales that were in your own turf. But now water exploration is more rewarded. Interesting, interesting. Don't think walls is going to be too necessary, considering no one is here. Ooh, that's huge. A pirate battleship already? At this stage in the game? That's nice. That's very nice indeed. My navy is limited by how many... Uh, people I can build in my town, though. Galleon Gaming in this economy? Hey, I didn't have to pay for it. They just joined for free. Can I harvest that star yet? Nah, next turn. Give me that star. Superstar. Oh, we got land. We're making landfall. We're making landfall on the starboard bow. Gotta spread out and grab all the stars. Can I, is it gonna be a way for me to get to upgrade there? I mean, I have a million stars, might as well spend them. Because with aquaculture, I can build an aqua farm. Oh yeah, this gives one now, it doesn't give two. Oh, shucks. Ah, oh, gee willikers, that's not good. And send. There we go. Keep on pressing forth. Yeah, there. Oh, no, it's a sword guy next to my good boat. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. My good boat is done. Maybe he'll be peaceable. Maybe he can come to his senses. I don't have the embassy yet. Oh, maybe he won't attack. Maybe he'll come to his senses. I can only hope that cooler heads prevail. Cooler heads are the only people that watch the Polytopia gameplay. Because Polytopia gameplay is kind of boring, but if you watch it, you watch it. Oh yeah, you can't move and attack now. I forgot that too. Oh man. Those poor pirates. They joined my civilization and they got sent out to die. Looks like they shouldn't have resorted to a life of crime. I suppose crime never pays. Yeah, I got a super unit, why not? And then I can be at the park. Uh, do I want the park there? Where do I want the park? Because I'm going to want to build a customs house. I think the customs house probably wants to go there. Maybe the custom, yeah, the custom house, no, that's, that can be a farm, though. I guess here is a good spot for it. Yeah, I guess that's something. Give me another guy, yeah. 
Give me that large lad. And there goes my pirates, RIP pirates. You downloaded games illegally. It will always remember you. I can't get that ruins yet because they'll just kill me with a sword. I think the ruins is worth losing my mobility. Speaking of mobility, look at this. Look at this. That was a good explorer. Quite useful indeed. And I can build yet another guy. This is going to be an important port right here. That's going to be a good one to expand my territory. Because I can I can build boats here and attack the sword guys with that. Umaji. Ooh, Umaji is not great for a map like this because they're a horse-based platform. Being a horse-based society is not great when you live in the ocean. I should probably research some of the boat techs to build better boats. I'm addicted to growth, dude. I'm addicted to infinite growth. Look at those stars. I got so many stars. The proper countersign is Texas. Build a port. Oh, Grand Bazaar is going to be hard to get. Grand Bazaar is going to be like, I don't know if I can even do that one. That one's going to be tough. That'll be a tough sell to the suits upstairs. But I'll try. That archer better not shoot at me. We can be friends, Hudrick. We can be the best of allies. There is no need for us to be opposing forces. I'm in creative mode. I'm not even in domination mode, so they shouldn't have to dominate. Okay, well, I did damage that guy. Whoops. Well, they're the sword guys. They attack me first. I don't care. I can kill the sword guys. They're sword guys. On shot first on that one. Let's go discover that. And I'm out of stars again. I was going to train some technologies, but I ran out of points. No more points for me. Hmm, I think I will stop those sword guys. Ah, just stars. Boo, it sucks. Valuable resources. Uh-huh. Wow, so valuable. Why can't the ruins be filled with malleable resources? That'd be good. Like some iron. Some gold, perhaps. Any of the softer metals would do, really. All right, let's buy, uh, what's good boats? Who's got good boats? I got navigation boat. Where's the scout boat? Who gives you the scout boat? Because scout boat is a boat you can have. I already have it. It's fishing. Okay, fishing is a scout boat. Let's get aquatism. It's a water world out there. Might as well build a water temple, right? Might as well make you go into the inventory every single time you want to unequip those boots. Okay, looks like Umaji's actually not doing terrible. Umaji actually has a more respectable fleet than me, it would seem. Which I'm not too thrilled about. Not super excited about that. But let's, let's start moving these giants in. We're going to take over the Grey Guy territory, I think. I think this realm will soon be mine. And let's, uh, let's see. Give me a rammer. Let's get some rammers going. A little bit of rammer gaming. I hardly know her. Uh, where's the custom houses? I want those. That's all the way up there in trade. I gotta get Rhodes? Ew, Rhodes is so worthless. Talk about a worthless technology on this map. All right, I think the Umaji is gonna expand their boats and attack Hudrick. Because the gray guys are mine. They're done for. Just like that, they've been wiped out. Now, what will Umaji do? Should I aggro Umaji? I mean, I kind of want to aggro Umaji, not going to lie. 
Yeah, I'll piss him off. Why not? I don't care. I'll make an enemy for life. As a joke. As a funny bit. So, rammers seem pretty strong on the water. If sailing is something you're gonna invest into, it seems like rammers are the way to go for that. Although the battleships are good too, but the battleships not being able to move and shoot, that's a huge issue. It's a huge debuff. Yeah, here comes their rammer. This is, like, playing with a huge water map with this boat update, it's kind of like a different game completely. The usual land-based tactics just don't even apply. This is fun, actually. This is pretty good. Polytopia is a fun game? I didn't know that. I didn't know this game was good. Oh, they got two cities? Ooh, Maji, you got two towns? Dang, dude. Umaji's not messing around. What does my rammer do to his rammer? Okay, it's an even trade. An equivalent exchange, fair enough. I now possess their land. So I will try to cultivate it. But this is a pretty barren landscape. Not a whole lot going on here. Yeah, I need farming. I need farming or mining to cultivate that further. Neither of which do I currently possess. So we'll build some more trash spam units to go die at sea. Hudrick still doesn't have boats yet. They have docks. Where's their boats? Maybe they do have boats. Maybe their boats are currently fighting Umaji. They're fighting a shadow war that I'm not privy to. That could be the case. Yeah, poor Umaji, man. They're going for riders. They're just stacking those riders up, and this is not going to work out for them. I got very lucky by being Kiku. Like, this is kind of unfair. If I had to be the sword guys and the AI got to be Kiku, that would have been probably more interesting. But I was assuming that if I just RNG'd it, I would probably get a bad roll, but I got a good roll for the first time in my life. There's the border growth. Okay. Now this town can actually become something. Now it can become the trading hub twas always meant to be. Let's build some battleships. We got stars. We got the stars for it. The stars are ours. And Umaji is countering my counter-offensive, but I still get the star. And I kill a rider. And I attack that guy and accomplish nothing. I move in the big guns. Send in the big guns. Send them in. Alright, send them in. Let them know who they're dealing with. Let them know who they're talking to. Send in the big guns. Oh, yeah. Send in the big guns. I mean, the guns I'm sending in are not small. They ain't tiny. Yeah, this is a good little sandbox for me to figure out all the new boats. I think, I think I've got it now. I think I pretty much got the new boat mechanics solved. I didn't solve them in the last match of this I did. Which was like an hour long. But yeah, in this one, I just instantly know. I think it would be fun to do like a giant water world. Like a giant water world with every faction. That could be kind of fun. That'd be a fun way to flex the new boat update. Like, favorite, comment if you want to see that video. Because for Polytopia, not as many people are interested in Polytopia, but the people that are interested in Polytopia, they watch, like, the whole thing. Like, the stats on those Polytopia YouTube videos is, like, yeah, like, two guys watch this, but they really liked it, dude. They were they were into it. And I'm into it as well. So if you want to see... Just, if you're watching this on YouTube, 
or on Twitch. I get I, I am streaming it live on Twitch. So Twitch, hi Twitch, what's up? What's up, Twitch chat? Twitch chat's pretty dead during Polytopia because there's not much to comment on. What are some Polytopia scenarios that you want to see Oboshu's gaming play? Because I like Polytopia and I will play more Polytopia. Playing Polytopia online is good. That's the best kind of content, but the problem is other people's turn times is just so long. You can't account for how long other people's turns is going to take. Is there mod support? I don't think so. I don't think there's a mod scene for this. It'd be nice if there was custom maps. That'd be fun. Like, so, like, custom scenario support would be good, like Civ. That could be a good update for them to make next time. Ever tried Kenshi? I think I own Kenshi, but I haven't hit play on it yet. Because I, when I hit play on Kenshi, I'm going to have to play Kenshi for the rest of my life. I'm not ready for a lifelong commitment yet. Because like I see Kenshi, and I'm like, yep, that game looks great. I'm going to love that. When I do get around to learning to play Kenshi, I'm going to love Kenshi. But I got to watch out. I gotta, I gotta make sure I have nothing going on for like two months straight before I hit play on Kenshi. Let's go kill Hoodrick. Why not? They're just sitting over here. They're just sitting over here thinking they're invincible because they got bows. Let's give them a taste of the bow show, shall we? Civ if it was fun. Civ is fun. Civ just takes too long. Civ is fun single player, and then Civ multiplayer is like, oh my god, just end your turn, dude. Why Polytopia multiplayer is more tolerable, because oh my god, end your turn, dude, it's only like a minute long. The turn you're waiting for is not that bad. But when, when you're playing Civ online, and you got nothing cooking for like the next 10 rounds, it's torture. And like all the people you're playing with are like, oh, this this is my moment to activate my game long strategy. I had to micro it really heavily. And you're like, I have nothing to do until this research is done. It's not great. But when you play single player and everybody has a computer, then it's fine. Because the computers just go instantly. Me and my friends usually over Christmas break. We usually play a yearly game of Civ 5. Maybe we'll play Civ 6 this time. Keep up with the times. I think our like, last year's game of Civ took like 23 hours of playtime or something ridiculous like that. It's hard work. It's definitely a grind, and there can only be one winner. So if you're a competitive person who really wants to win, uh, if you have a full lobby, the odds are not in your favor on that one. Me personally, I don't I don't play enough Civilization to win. Like I don't know enough about that game to win ever. So I use I usually just try to be a nuisance. I just try to be a nuisance for twenty hours straight. If you spawn next to me in Civilization, you better hope you're not a competitive player, because if you're a competitive player trying to win, I'm gonna stop you from winning. The more you're trying to win, the more I'll be motivated to stop you. In Civilization multiplayer, honestly, I'm more interested in RPing as a Civilization and just like doing funny things. Like, dude, isn't it so funny that I just made this invention? Ha ha ha. The RP potential in Civilization is surprisingly high when you're in a voice call. Can I build the Customs House? Yeah, I said I wanted to. And, oh, wait, the custom House is gone? Oh, yeah, it's a market now. I forgot about that. Wait, is there? This gotta be there somewhere. Is it there somewhere? Did they get rid of them? I knew market was a thing. Now I didn't know that custom house is not a thing. Interesting. Wow, look at that. They done spiced up the gameplay. I like that custom houses were green and Kiku was green because I'm playing as a green tribe. So if I had a bunch of green houses, that would have looked real good. Oh, they weren't even at war with me yet. These fools. 
They were thinking we were going to be friends. They were thinking the Great White Fleet wasn't going to pay him a visit and force him to open up their trade lanes. All right, keep sending them in. They got a large guy, so it'll take a while to punch through that large guy, but we'll get him eventually. The ball is rolling down the hill, and eventually, Hudrick will be kill. It's just a matter of time. But yeah, this, uh, this setup with just, like, everybody gets one island, and it's mostly boats, that would be fun. It'd be a fun scenario to play. Last time I tried to play this, the scenario I wanted didn't happen because of the ice guys. And this time, I made the map too small. Because I, I got PTSD from fighting Polaris last time. Like, okay, we'll, we'll dial it down a little bit. But turns out, I shouldn't have dialed it down. Because this was, like, double in scale. It'd be way better. It's a learning experience, you know? You, you gotta learn these things. The number one thing you do when you stream a video game is to not plan anything at all. Preferably, you won't learn anything about the game you're playing over the course of playing it, and you'll be really bad at it. Like with Rico. Apparently, my Rico gameplay was really bad. I'm gonna be honest, when I was playing Rico, I thought I was doing okay. I was, ha I was having fun playing Rico. It was a good game. I was like, yeah, this game's pretty good. I thought I was not that bad at it. But then literally every comment is like, holy crap, this might be the worst gameplay you've ever posted in your life. And I was like, no, it's not. It's Rico. Then I watch it back and I'm like, oh man, <laughs> that's pretty bad. Someone said, I can't believe you were brave enough to post this. And I was like, what are you, what are you talking about brave enough to post this? And then I watched like the first five minutes and I was like, oh, oh, I shouldn't have posted that one probably. That's a big credibility loss right there. I'll play Rico 2 and I'll be good at it. That, that just sets me up for the redemption arc. That's that's what we call content strategy. Because now I can play Rico 2. And I can actually be good at Rico 2. And if I'm good at Rico 2, then I'll be my, my redemption arc. It'll be good, you know? It didn't help that you missed every single target on the planet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I'm going to do better on Rico 2, I promise. I promise Rico 2 will be better. I promise in Rico 2, I will pay attention to the tutorial prompt. That was a big issue, was not reading the tutorial prompt. It didn't have aim assist, though. How am I going to play it with no aim assist? It's too hard. The only game I can play with no aim assist is Polytopia, because Polytopia, you just click on the water, and the water temple spawns in. Oh, I won. <laughs> I did it. I was too busy talking about Rico. I did it. The Kiku tribe has conquered the waves. Rule Kiku Tanya. Kikutanya rules the waves. Well. Like, favor, subscribe with your Polytopia scenario ideas. I want to know what they are so I can play them. Only if they sound fun. If you have a crappy idea that sucks, I don't want to play that one. But if you got a good idea, or if there are Polytopia mods that I don't know about that exist. I don't think there are, but if there is Polytopia mods, also give me those. Because that's something I want to play as well. Just build the Eye of God real quick. There we go. Dork is now level 5. I got a level 5 dork. Oh, yeah. You're watching Dorky Gaming? Tune in next time for more dorky content. <laughs>